Andrew 26101 show. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I'm your host, Andrew 26101 Show. Thank you all for joining the show. Those of you who are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. If you guys like to make a PayPal donation, please go ahead and feel free. If you'd like to support the channel, you can also do the super chat. I want to thank everybody who's live tonight. My connections act a little funny, a little bit bipolar, just like the weather over here in the good old state of Florida, where I stay and reside at. I'm originally from the Bronx, New York, from the mean streets of New York, New York. So anyways, thank you all for joining me. Let's try to get more people in this room. Give me a second here. See if I can fix these settings. Cause my settings are starting to act a little shady right now. But that's all right, man. What's going on, everybody? How y'all doing? Thank you for joining a second episode for today. Hopefully this uh, internet looking like it's uh, not looking too good over here, but I don't know. It's flip-flopping. I don't know if do you guys hear me in a glitch. You know what I mean? I just want to make sure that, you know, I'm live and I'm clear. Give me a second here, folks. Uh, shoot. Hold on. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hmm. Hopefully I'm not glitching, man. I hope I'm not glitching. Why is it saying I am, but it don't look like I am. Okay, whatever. All right, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and go down with the show. So. Every day can be extraordinary. No, not really. So, what the hell is all this? Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay, so anyways, um, today's show, we'll be talking about how a woman suckered 20 simps into buying her iPhones. Can you believe that, guys? Not really. Simps are always on the loose. Simps are always around. Simps are always doing the out... The, like, the, the most unordinary necessary things that most men shouldn't be doing, okay? Such as buying females 20 iPhones. I mean, just think about it. 20 iPhones. How much does the normal price of an iPhone for cost anyways? So this woman's on social media bragging about how she got 20 of her boyfriends. I call them 20 simps. Because, listen. I don't know how any woman could have the capacity of holding down 20 guys into getting her things. But guess what? She is of foreign descent. Now, listen. This is foreign game. For fellas that don't understand, it's not only American women that have game that can be bestowed upon you guys. Okay? There's also foreign women that can play those type of games as well. And these are the games that you got to look out for, guys. Okay? Usually the ones that are asking you for money up front, asking you for the latest Gucci, with a good God, 20 iPhones. 20 iPhones. Okay. What in the world would you want to do with 20 iPhones? Think about it. How much is each iPhone? Each iPhone's got to be at least $1,000 or so. The new ones. Let's think about it. That's, Jesus. That's got to be, what, $20,000 right there? She done made off of simping dudes. I wonder what type of men she's talking to that's going to be sending her 20 iPhones. You know, which generous 
men out there are willing to give away iPhones. It's crazy. A genius woman gets 20 boyfriends to buy her 20 iPhones. Okay? Given what a what the challenge can be to get the property leader in the country. I could say pro priority, I should say, leader in the country. So, this is an article I'm reading. I apologize right now. I'm trying to get my senses together. I'm a little bit fucked up, so please forgive me. Given what a challenge it can be to get on the pro property leader in the... I mean, is that property? Property leader in the country? Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm saying that right. All right, anyways. It's probably no surprise that the Chinese social media was buzzing with one particular property. Story last week, which was uh, the TikTok situation. It started with a blog was published on a popular blogging platform called the Ten Ya Ying Du Form by a person writing under the proud Cuba. Q no, that's not Cuba. K K Oba. K Oba. I think that's pronounced it. It's it's in it's in Chinese. I can't really pronounce it, so forgive me. Proud K Oba penned a tale that if we hadn't been able to verify it over selves would seem like the plot of a pretty average airport romance novel. Okay, I don't know why. What does this have to do with the bitch getting a whole bunch of men to give her iPhones? Okay, so here we go. Let's skip all this bullshit. It says, so Southern China asks the woman of her 20 current boyfriends to buy her newly launched iPhone 7. Okay. Now this is what China's doing. So China actually asks the girl 20 boyfriends to buy her iPhone 7s. Something doesn't seem right there. Why would China want to ask a particular woman that has 20 boyfriends to buy her 20 iPhones and these men are from the United States? Something just smells kind of fishy here. I don't get it. So anyways, she asked for iPhone 7s. She then sold all the phones to the mobile phone company to recycle site called Hiwa Shou Bao for 120,000 Chinese yen, which is about 14,500 pounds, which is about and close enough to like maybe $20,000 and use the money to put down on a deposit on a house in the courtside proud Kauba wrote in the blog she posted her image of the new house that she bought to their great to the group of friends okay so she bought a house for the group of friends they were all very surprised when she revealed how she had managed to obtain the money for the deposit. So she went ahead and snitched on herself. Everyone in the office is talking about this. Everyone around the world is now spreading the news how this woman was able to gas 20 simps into buying them iPhones. 20 simps. That's all it takes. Do the math. You get 20 simps to buy you an iPhone. Each one of them buy an iPhone. Each iPhone costs about maybe about a thousand dollars, right? So pretty much she just profited twenty thousand dollars. She don't even need to sleep with dudes. Okay? These chicks now are on different game that they don't even have to sleep with your asses. Now nah, we we just kind of started. So you ain't too late. But it's got to the point where dudes don't dudes <sighs> boy, I tell you, man. Men I don't get it. <sighs> These dudes, I want to know what type of men she talking to that could afford to be giving her a thousand dollars. She found 20 boyfriends at the same time and even get them to buy her an iPhone seven. 
Just wanted to ask her to teach me such skills. Another TST praised her enterprise nature. So she was helping a company to sucker these dudes into giving her iPhones, buying her iPhones, which she did. So she actually helped out the Chinese economy. <laughs> well, them simps did. <laughs> wow. Thanks for helping China. Dumbasses. <laughs> What a bright future we have in the United States of America. Little B wrote that the most shameless person, other others were suspicious and wondered if the whole story was elaborated product placement for the Who Shoe Bo, the mobile phone recycle business. BBC trending. I hate saying that word. Good God. We know what we're talking about. Not the actual BBCs, but B BBC trending approach worldwide. But anyways, nah, this is BBC. <laughs> BBC trending appro uh, uh, approached Who Su Wu, so BBC News Network or whatever British broadcast system. When a company spokesman confirmed that they had indeed purchased twenty iPhones from a female client at the beginning of October. So she went to the store with the with the money and she purchased 20 iPhones and paid 6,000 Chinese yen, about 725 pounds, which is about maybe 900 and something dollars for each one. Okay, so it was a little under a thousand. We put in a request to interview her through the company. They responded to our email saying that they had asked the client if she would like to speak to us but she had declined, okay? So in other words, man, she's out here in social media with a campaign with a company that's out here. Pretty much she's playing the fool on social media to dudes who are simps that are buying her or sending her money. Well, not buying her iPhones, I should say. A lot of women kind of play this whole game, man. Like, American women didn't even know that there were women in different countries that were playing this shit. And they were saying, oh, damn. I need to get on that game. You see, fellas, see, women are not stupid as you think they might be when they do, when they say, you know, overly bearingly em emotional things. They're not as dumb as you think they are. They're actually really smart because I'm going to tell you why. They play like they're dumb to manipulate you into giving them what they want. Just think about it. How many dudes have sent women flowers and gifts and played the simp role? And how many of y'all have never got exactly what you were looking for by playing the simp card? Okay? By being a simp. Because these are the situations that you get yourself into. Okay? It's not entirely, not necessarily your fault. But most women, when they play this game... They're going to be very quick with their emotions towards you. They're going to be saying all the things you want to hear just to butter you up at first so you can feel some type of way. And then guess what? They're taking your line of credit and they're taking your phone. So they get whatever they can out of you. There's, uh, listen, shout out to Dennis. Uh, Milano the travel boy. But we've had a video a long time ago where we were kind of talking about things like this. How? Huh? You know, there are dudes out here that are simping way too hard for women that are foreign. And you are messing it up once again. You did it in America, and now y'all doing it again to women who are foreign. See, it's going to get to the point where foreign women will no longer have the essence of traditional values of what we've been searching for as men when it comes down to women. Because what was going to happen is... You're going to meet a bunch of women, okay? you going to be a bunch of these women that's not going to give a shit about you. And they just going to want your money, okay? See, I act like I don't got no money. But you know how it is, man. You can't always keep a stack with you. You got to put, you know, the rest in the bank, you feel me? You got to put it away, man. Hundreds. Y'all can see that. <laughs> You can't let them know what you're doing, man. I don't know if y'all can see it's a little, it's a little green. You know what I'm saying? Don't let them know that you got this stack somewhere, man. You gotta hide it. 
<laughs> What's up to everybody out there, man? I'm just bullshit. I'm having a good time, man. Shout out to my fam gang gang in the building, man. Thank y'all all for joining the Andrew 26101 show. I promise you, we got a lot to talk about here, man. But too many dudes is caking for these girls, man. We got too many cake muffins out here. Too many of you simps. Y'all sending y'all money to different foreign countries and helping the economy. When you're supposed to be helping your own. Dudes is sending out money for foreign currency so fast. We selling our products. We giving our products away. I mean, something's got to give, man. Come on. Niggas is really selling all this cash. All this cash. This, hey, bring it. This hardworking cash. See, look at this. Hardworking cash. Dudes are sending stacks away. Instead of you investing your money into the stock market, dudes is investing into poo tank pie. Foreign poo tank pie that they probably are never going to get a taste of. Because they don't use their brains. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to fix this shit. God damn. Lighting is so crazy. Why am I looking like a space cadet? Alright, cool. Oh, man. This Chinese woman asked 20 boyfriends to buy her an iPhone 7. She sold them all to buy a new house. Dudes is out here simping, boy. How the hell? Let me tell y'all something about this game that a lot of females play too. That that are Asian women overseas too, okay? Or any type of woman that could play these type of games, all right? Usually, these dudes fall real quick for these females, okay? Because they say the right things and the right stuff that they want to hear at that first beginning moment in time. Okay, and the and then afterwards, once she feels she got you where she wants you, and she starts asking you for money, asking you for phones. See, this is what happens when you guys give her these new iPhones and shit from overseas, either the Dominican Republic or, or, you know, Philippines, Thailand. These bitches is getting the latest technology from your asses, and they training in their country because they're trying to feed their family, which I got respect for them for doing that. You know, hey. You got to do what, it, what you got to do to get by. Some of them, their family may be okay. They might be just looking after themselves and taking care of what they need to do. Because, listen, it's a poor country. It's third world. They're trying to survive, man. Like any female there is, just like women in this country. The thing about it is, women in this country got OnlyFans. They're charging dudes. Dudes is getting charged on OnlyFans, yo. $60 a membership. There's this chick that's on OnlyFans. This chick's got 33,000 members. And she's charging each one of these dudes $50 a month. That's about goddamn $5 million every five months this chick is making off of OnlyFans. These bitches ain't got to strip no more. They ain't got to do no... They ain't even got to... Swallow you off. That's why I say females is the ultimate hustlers, man. It's got to the point where they ain't even got to fuck y'all niggas. Well, literally they are. But not physically. Damn. Bitches trying to stick me for my paper. Damn. Bitches trying to stick me for my paper. Damn. Bitches trying to stick me for my people. Shout out to everybody in the building, man. I'm about to get read y'all comments in just a second, man. This is a miscarriage of justice. Something's got to give, man. This shit crazy, man. D-Max says, Some of foreign homeboys told me about this when I was in college. It's a stream of income. It's like it still works. <laughs> Andrew, I can give you a video, fam. Really? Send it over. Send it over, man. Let's do let's do it, man. We we shit. We're gonna run the show. We're gonna run this show to the wheels fall off because this is a very important important topic, man. Cause women is hustling the hell out of us. These bitches out here is selling iPhones, 
Y'all niggas is sending iPhones. What's going to be next? Cars? Teslas? Bitch, go ask for a Tesla, man. <laughs> oh, shit, man. The Asian economy is about to blow up, man. See, you see, this is what they do, man. They get y'all simps. They get y'all simps over here. And then y'all go ahead and give all this money to China. All these all these Chinese women taking all the money, right? And they shooting for the stars and aiming for the moon. Some of these foreign... Okay, I'll write that right. If I can't find a foreign woman with traditional values, I don't know what I'll do. This world's about to be a feminist. Yo, imagine a foreign... If foreign lands turn feminist man we are doomed do you know like foreign land is like <sighs> i'm gonna say this for men foreign land foreign hospitality okay when it comes down to women foreign women <laughs> It's like original vegetables grown from a harvest. Natural, organic, no added reserves, straight organic. That is what the fruits of what foreign pooting is all about. Foreign. Because you're, you're getting that vitamin V, fellas, when you're eating poutang pie. That's organic. But now, now we're doing foreign exchanges. Because dudes want to act like the same dudes that they always been acting like when they're in America. And I'm not this ain't just this ain't just goes to any particular race out there. This is all races of men. And you know, not to, you know, get on the topic of just any race of men, but I'm just gonna keep it one hundred and keep it real. I've got some white buddies. I've got all races of guys that I know of different nationalities and different colors. And I even have some white dudes that I'm cool as shit with. And they told me, man, there's some white guys that are simping, bro. You got to let them know. <laughs> I said, man, come on, man. I said, all right, you know what? I get, I get after everybody. My white brothers, man. Y'all simping like a motherfucker, man. The truth of the matter is a lot of them are sending iPhones to Thailand. What is going on? With y'all. Get it together, man. You got a you got a crazy story for me, man. This is sad, man. I feel sorry for my white brothers, man. Come on, man. Y'all can't be sending these girls iPhones over there to Thailand, man. That y'all don't need to do that, man. Y'all no, man. That that's this is how Dominican Republic got effed up in Sasua. I'm just saying, foreign exchange. We don't do that. We can't do that, fellas. We gotta understand. They give you a foot. You give them a yard. But then again, nah, you don't want a yard. That's longer than a foot, isn't it? Yeah. Nah, fuck that. Scratch that off. You, They give you a foot, you give them an inch. Don't give them the whole rope. Just kind of feed it a little bit. You catch my drift, fellas? Men, y'all got to stop overfeeding people. This is how we've effed up America's dating scene. By just buying, we felt we could just buy a female's affection, buy a woman's love. It gets really, 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 really simpish. We gotta stop 
these dinner dates, $400 dinner dates. This is just ridiculous, man. Dudes out here caping to chicks, paying six to $1,600 in dates now on Valentine's Day. I wonder what they're going to do this year now we got Corona. What niggas going to do? I hope, I hope they're not going to like places like the Cheesecake Factory or Benny Bonner's and all those other expensive Seasons 52 and those are expensive uh, restaurants. So what do you got for me, man? Let's see what let's see what you got for me. You said you got a story for me. <sighs> Virginia woman runs over her husband twice and kills him. I don't know, man. If this if this is some violent shit, I don't want to. I can't play this, man. Hold on, I gotta look at this real quick. If it's violence, I can't play this, man. Yeah, I can't play this type of shit on here, man. I'm looking through here. Holy shit. Holy shit. Did, did, oh, wow. Yeah, this is really... Wow. 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 Okay. Well, the accident already happened, so I can go ahead and play it as long as it's not... An impact that just happened. But, um, wow. That's insane. So, why did her husband run her over? Hold on, let me play this clip real quick, man. Let me show this to y'all. Give me a second. What was the reason for him getting hit? I heard about the story. All right, let me let me let, let me just get to the story real quick and find out what's going on here. Because uh, if there's some graphical stuff, I'm gonna have to cut it off. Because YouTube is really in their feelings, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to get these be detonized, be demonetized, or whatever the hell. They're tripping out here, bro. Fans out here want me to do this shit. And they're trying to get me in trouble. Niggas want me to get kicked out again? <laughs> want me to lose my channel? Nah, let me stop. That's not cool. Uh, Give me a second. Hold on. I'll get it on the stream in just a second, guys. Okay. All right, here we go. All right, I got it on the screen. All right. Let's play this video. Tommy did a story on it. But I want to hear your perception of it, fam. Okay. Um. Damn. Now you you getting me want to have to uh, change the title to this, man. All right. Let me get my perception. So, this title says Virginia woman runs over husband twice and kills him. All right. Well. Let's play. Oh my God. He's dead. Um, you see, this is what I don't understand, man. This is what I don't understand is that people just like stand around when shit like this happens. Why do black folks always do this shit? I never understand. Why black folks always do like this one lady calling the police. There should be several of them calling the police. You know what I'm saying? We'll get ambulance on the way out here. Tragic situation, but come on, man. This is ridiculous. So, a woman's, I'm going to have to change the title of this. A woman ends up running her husband over with a car. And she stands over his lifeless body and she's, and he's probably in so much pain right now. And all she's doing is screaming and yelling. At him. This is the barbaric behavior on how toxic this culture is and how toxic America is.
I don't date plenty black women. Okay. No disrespect to the sisters, but I'm very picky with the type of black women I date. I'm very picky with black women, period, because I know black women. So that's why I have to be picky with them and very selective because of the rage that most black women carry with them, you know, and most black men, we carry that rage with us too. And it's a mental disorder that's been going around in the black community for years, even through our past ancestries, you know, it's something barbaric and animalistic that we have towards each other i can never just quite figure out what it is why do we have such barbaric hate for each other see with black folks we don't have to do the jobs of the kkk well i should say let me switch that around the kkk doesn't have to do the jobs or what? Wow, I'm all fucked up right now. Black people, I should say, are doing the jobs for the KKK. And that's killing each other. Because this is what we do. They know how barbaric and crazy we can be towards each other. But let's keep playing. This is crazy. Thanks for sharing the video. This shit is crazy. This shit is crazy. Oh. oh! He's dead, and fuck him! Fuck him! Fuck him! That's what happened. You did the right in a fucking phrase, you bitch! I gave you 18 years of my fucking life. I'm not. I'm not ever gonna do that. I'm not trying. Wow. Wow. I've never seen anything crazy like this before in my life. I might have to change the title to this. This is insane. And this is all during quarantine. Wow. I should have I should have said this for another video. Who baby is that? She, the lady with the pink shirt, she just ran up. She did homicide. She did a homicide. I'm gonna have to change the title to this, man. Wow. Like she killed him. He's bleeding. I was getting my nails done, so when I was getting my nails done, I just see this. He's dead. The day with the pink shirt. So this woman ran him over. This is my first time seeing this. So this woman ran him over. His wife ran him over. With her own car. <sighs> wow. She did it. She going to jail today. This shit. This shit don't make no sense. Thank y'all. 
I'm really not supposed to be showing shit like this though, because this is insane. Where the end of that? See, I was in a good mood until I had to see this shit. I wish I, I honestly, I wish, I appreciate you sent the video. I mean, that's cool, but I, I wish you never did it. Wow. This shit is hard to watch, man. Uh, um, I asked for the Amazon. They never come yet. She owned a police car. Like, she wanted to go to jail. She owned the shit. She owned a police car. See, this is what you call, folks, an animalistic rage. <coughs> She's full with hate. She's full with anger. Mostly, not just full with hate, <coughs> but full with anger. Oh, let me see if I can fix this now. <coughs> she's probably in shock, but she's trying so hard to like not see for her to do she on this shit for her to do something like this, man. For her to do something like this, man. She had to been really mentally damaged in this relationship or before the relationship but i'm gonna assume she was damaged in this relationship i'm not pointing out fingers and i won't even say who's to blame well obviously it's plain to see who's to blame now because she killed this man but what i'm saying is this we don't know nothing about the dude who she killed her husband this guy might have been a, a domestic uh, person who was, I don't know, like who don't, I don't know anything about the relationship or what happened, but I can tell you this, it's very toxic for her to do something like this to this extreme. This is toxic behavior. No, you know, I get into so many fights with my lady all the time. And sometimes, yeah, I want to get to that extent, but not like that. But I want to get to the extent where I just want to, you know, Slap her head a little bit. Like, what the hell's wrong with you? Slap her ass. Slap her head. Or, you know, or push her against the wall or some shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But never like this. This is just, this is just, wow. This, wow. She took a person's life, her husband's life. Now, for her to do something like this, wow. Mental illness is really strong in the black community. Very, very strong. And this is the reason why I don't really fuck with black women. Sorry, black women. Listen, I love y'all. Like a sister, I love y'all. From a distance, I love y'all. But as in a wife and a potential partner, I can't fuck with it. But I'll be cool with you, though. We fucked up. Two people can't be together when they fucked up. This is why we have hate. We always need somebody who's going to neutralize us. Somebody's got to be the bigger person in the relationship. Because if you got two hotheads, two hothead motherfuckers, two people who are hothead, it never works. Two people who are the same, it's just a natural disaster waiting to happen. Unless somebody's level-headed and somebody can understand the situation for what it is at hand. You know what I'm saying? See... My lady's an impatient woman. She's very impatient. I'm very patient. So I can deal with her shit. And I know how to move around it. You know. She doesn't know how I'm able to diffuse her shit. But I'm just so calm and so level headed. Because I, I know what I'm dealing with. You know what I'm saying. So. Let it be said. Two people can't be the same in a relationship. This is what causes shit to happen. But. I don't know. People would say, well, maybe he's cheated on her. I think this goes beyond cheating. For her to, like, go to this extent on killing her husband, you got to be really, 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 really damaged. But then again, who knows? Maybe this is the cause of cheating. Black women can't handle knowing that the fact that if they become another statistic in some sort of way. But... Wow. 
I'm lost for words. She on the police car. You can't. She crazy, got them bands. Don't worry about her. Someone needs to be her ass. Hell no, nah, she ain't gonna run me fucking over. I, I want my goddamn life. They coming, they coming. They coming. They coming, man. They right here. Yeah, she look, she cramped. Y'all see the truck? She crashed into the truck right there. Yeah. They coming, man. They coming. They coming. I don't know why this shit hit different, man. This shit hit so different, man. That man didn't even know what was happening to him, man. What was coming. Your own wife ran you over with her own car. How sick and sinister you can be. And then afterwards, you pick up the the bumper of the car just to throw it on top of him. And then you spit on his face. Well, I tell you, man, blacks can, we can be some barbaric animals, man, to each other. Black lives matter. Where y'all at? Hey, I see more black on black crime than I do anywhere else, man. And this is sad. I'm sorry, but this is some sad shit, man. He moving. This is Janet Shopper Center. What? Yes, yes, yes. Oh wow. Wow. The grace of God, man. Look at that. Kid is moving. He's moving. This is crazy. She dancing. She just went. She was dancing her ass off. Can you believe that women can be so vain when it comes down to men? This is just a proven fact that men don't. Work. Listen, men. I know I got a lot of men that watch my channel. There's some women that watch my channel too, but. Really and truly, man, women don't really care about men. You know, through my 30-something years of living, man, I've realized that women don't really care about men. They don't care about y'all. Just look at it. Man, look look at the look of look at all the the obstacles you had to go through when it came down to women. Putting you on child support. They, if they don't hit you emotionally, right, which they try to, they're going to hit you financially. They'll hit you for your pockets. They'll take your money away from you. They'll take things away from you. They'll sue you in court. You know, they'll start stalking you. They'll do things on your job to get you fired. I mean, they'll burn your clothes. And then people will sit back and just laugh about these behaviors. And they think, ah, oh, you must have did something to piss her off. That's why she's doing that to you. How many times men have to go through a psychological abusiveness and overbearing, barreling control women in relationships? There's a lot of narcissist behavior and very aggressive women. Who are overly emotional. And they will. Do things to make sure. 
you suffer if they can't get their way with you. Now, listen, it's bad enough that if a man cheats on a female, okay, cheating is bad, fair enough. But is it worth the extent, ladies, of actually doing something that can kill that person or potentially do something to kill or steal? Oh, man. This is sad, though. Yes, he's moving. I'm going to get too much into this because I'm going to go back into my other... Uh, But that's cool. I'm glad that you showed me this, man. Huh. He's moving, so thank God he ain't dead. Because if he was dead, then, you know, it wouldn't be a good look on my channel. And I don't need dead clips of people on my channel. So thank God he survived. You know what I mean? Because he's moving. But, uh, wow. Unreal, man. Back-to-back -back lives, just right. So anyways, back to the 20 boys that this boy, that this woman had in order for her to gain 20 iPhones. So actually, the, the, approximate, the approximate price, she then estimated sold them all. Okay, she sold all the mobile phones and recycled sites. 120 yang, which is about approximately $17,700. Now listen, back to uh, simpish behavior. I know that last video that I was shown from a subscriber um, was very, very traumatizing, but you know, it's just a proven fact that man, if they can't hurt you physically, they can hurt you Financially or emotionally. Crazy black pill shit. What the hell is a black pill? Because I don't, I don't follow by, those, by ideology views like that. Feminists run the court financial and business system. Jonocentrics ruin everything. I agree, Aiden Perez. Feminists have involved their way into the court system by supporting uh, by having the support from the government by pushing out legislative laws that can cause conflict towards men so we as men we don't do things like that we don't pursue our rights and go into courts and go into laws because we're still hypnotized by a fantasy that women can't do no harm when in fact they're always planning, plotting, and scheming. No disrespect to ladies out there. But like I said, I love every each and one of y'all. But y'all, y'all toxic, man. A lot of y'all all real toxic. And it's sad. Man, I ain't gonna lie, that that's a good hustle, damn hustle man in the building. Dudes out here spending racks, man. Spending these racks. Throwing them all over the place, man. You know what you could do with 10 racks? Okay? You can invest it in the stock market. Okay? Invest your money in the stock market. Y'all giving away $10,000 to these chicks. Well, this is, well, she had more than me. You know what I'm saying? 17 grand and shit. I'm saying, it feels so good to have 17 grand. You feel me? <laughs> Anyways, man, I ain't gonna lie. That's a good look. So, I mean, I'm gonna read these comments over here. I have a friend that got screwed over by his so-called legal advisors in a divorce court while fighting for custody for his two boys. Sad, man. If they're not going to hit you physically, they go hit you financially. But that's when you deal with hood-ass ghetto women. There's a different type of hustle. These are like Asian women, persuasion, Asian persuasion. They persuade you with the, I rule the iron fist. 
You ever see those those Japanese commercials? What the? Oh, I don't think you can fight as good as me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Man, I, I feel like watching me a, a, a Japanese film. Now I think about it, man. I feel like watching me some Bruce Lee. You ever see those guys when they talk? I know what you say. <laughs> what up, everybody in the building? Shout out to everybody in the building. Shout out to my gang, gang, gang. Thank you all for joining the Andrew 26101 show. We're going to continue talking about this chick. Thank you all for joining the show. Those of y'all who are new to the show, don't forget. Name the description below. Hit that subscribe button or this way. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to hit that notification button. So that way you can see my beautiful chocolate sunshine face. And you can see me talk about the crazy shit that goes down in COVID-19 and relationships. Good God. What is going on, people? I walked outside of my door. I see nothing but a bunch of angry people. People are so angry. People are so bitter. They want to... Oh, it's only going to get worse. Women just seem so angry. They're not getting enough attention. Bars are closed. Nightclubs are not around. They can't whore around. They can't get... They can't feed their egos. So it's destroying them from the inside in. From the inside out, I should say. Shout out everybody in the building. But I financially support him, though. Twitch to help him. What's a good friend? What a good friend you are. Okay. Okay, y'all talk about some other shit. All right, but listen, man. iPhones, man. She convinced her 20 lovers to each to buy her at least an Apple iPhone. Chicks out here are hustling everywhere around the world, man. Females are the ultimate pimps and hustlers. Who allows a chick to get away with y'all breaking them off with a thousand dollars without y'all even smashing? Y'all must got some real good money. Cause I ain't got no thousand dollars to be spending on no hell. You know what I'm saying? And if she wants my racks, man, you better you better strip for a nigga. You know what I'm saying? You better strip for a nigga, boy. I ain't even playing with him. Smell me? <laughs> nah, seriously, I I'm just bullshitting, man. But listen, really and truly, man, listen. Fellas, we got to stop, man. We, we really got, like, seriously now, like, no, all jokes aside, we got to stop. We got to stop with this, man, because we are our own destruction. We are our own destruction. Women will only do as much as we allow them to. Okay? Whether that means buying her one iPhone, two iPhone, three iPhones, four iPhones. And I believe she got more than 20 iPhones. I think she got more than that. But they just don't want to say anything. These chicks out here don't give a damn about you. All they care is about is what's in your wallet. All they care about is what you can do for them. That's it. So, man, you really got to put this in your minds all the time. When you meet women. You got to meet. You got to look at. You got to deal with. You got to. Not deal with what you always got to put in your mind is What do you want from me Like like you got to be like You got to already know What the hell she's trying to do You know what I'm saying Like you, you got to understand the game for what it is I wouldn't be giving them no attention whatsoever man I got to stop Feeding these girls attention Y'all give them too much attention, too much validation. They go ask for more. And this is the results that happen. Chicks out here getting iPhones from y'all. Y'all sending the new iPhones. Y'all sending Gucci bags. Y'all sending Prada to foreign women. Nah, no wonder why they think every America American man is rich. Because you dumbass, bird head ass niggas is doing stupid shit. That's what pisses me off because... 
I would feed some information about Dominican Republic to some dudes, and I guarantee you they'll go over there and they'll fuck the whole shit up. Now, I feel like I'm responsible for that dumb shit. But I'm just trying to put out good shit, you know, and just give people a different perspective. I always say, man, leave that nigga shit at home, man. Leave that ghetto shit at home. Don't bring it overseas. Don't do that dumb shit. This is why America is fucked up as it is. And this is why men can't be empowered anymore. Because we're so quick to want to just give off our money to females that don't even deserve it. They don't even deserve it. This shit don't make no sense, man. Always keep extra bullets, never can have enough extra extended magazines for LaQuansha. Oh, God, come on now. We, we ain't out here talking about that stuff, man. We ain't killing nobody. We, we serve and protect. To the community, it comes right back to you. Serve and protect. I ain't talking about the police style, but, you know, I serve. I always help people if I do think that they need help, no matter who they are. You know what I mean? Andrew, if a bitch tried running over me, I'm going to have to empty the whole shit. Oh, well, there's a difference, though. There's a difference, though. Yeah, you got to have to survive. Yeah, that's a little different. That's way different. That's way different. We were talking about that stuff before. But, man, I ain't trying to... That's such... That energy is so crazy, man. That energy is so crazy, man. That's an intense energy. And I got, that's why I had to isolate myself from... You know, it's sad to say this, though. But I had to isolate myself from certain black folks, you know, because the energy is just, it's, it's, it's bad, I don't want to, I don't want that energy around me, you feel me, and I know a lot of people can contest to this too, and they're blacks themselves, and they don't want to be around too many niggas, I'm the same way too, because I don't trust niggas, and I don't like dealing with niggas, I don't mind dealing with black people, like civilized black people, black people who, yeah, tend to be a little bit more on the you know, mid-age skills, or mid-level just thinking, third-eye thinking, you know, civilized. I can't deal with the barbaric, crazy motherfuckers. Okay, cool. Shout out to you. I'm reading the comments over here. Shout out to you, America's comment. I see y'all in the building. You said black pill is what? Black pill is just a heavy hearted darkness Really They didn't know that I know I'm red pill But I didn't know that I heard, I heard of I don't think I heard of black pill I heard of blue pill But I don't think I've heard about that other stuff No, That's crazy I chill with the good black people Especially with the good beautiful black women Yeah man the refined ones, you know, the ones that you know ain't gonna be no problems, man. But you know what? It's just like I said, man. It's too many hood niggas that overweigh the black community, man. There ain't too many black people, man. All I see is hood niggas, niggas, niggas everywhere. I'm talking about dirty, disgusting, filthy ones that want to fuck up every time a black person just wants to have a civilized, cool time. Here comes that nigga. You know, the one with their pants hanging down low. Hey, what the, the fuck, uh, you know, all country ass and shit. So is some hood country ass niggas with the gold teeth. Hey, car. Hey, and he looking like this. Hey, car. Hey, 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 what the fuck that is, car? Hey, car. Hey, hey, what the fuck going on there, car? I'm going to be that all day, nigga, car. Come on, man. Hey, hey, car. Hey, car. Hey, we dysfunctional, man. But white men can be dysfunctional too. You know what I'm saying? I think I think we all are some dysfunctional motherfuckers. White people are dysfunctional. Black people are dysfunctional. Hispanic people are dysfunctional. Latin too, Latinos, whatever. Asian people are dysfunctional. We are some dysfunctional motherfuckers, man. All of us are fucked up. 
Can we all admit that? That we 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 all after. Hope I get monetized. I know I was saying too many F bombs. I apologize, YouTube. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. I'm just trying to educate my people. That's it. Everybody else. But men and women too, man. We gotta educate ourselves too. Women, if you see bad people that's doing shit like this, you gotta school the 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 good the, the, the women that's doing dumb shit like this in your country, man. They want to hustle, but it's a little different. It's a different lifestyle. They trying to feed their family and do whatever they got to do. But then again, who knows? Maybe she ain't. Maybe she's just a gold digging bitch that's just trying to get money out. But nah, I can't even call her that. I got to call you dude stupid for even sending her $1,000 in the first place. Y'all must be rich. Y'all must have thousands and thousands of dollars in your bank accounts. But you can go ahead and do that. I don't trust banks. I don't like keeping my money in banks anyways. But I do sometimes. I keep it in there. But I always try to just keep it low key, man. I don't want to flash money and shit like that. I just I show money. I was just showing my money for dumbass purposes, just being stupid. But I tend to keep that shit low key. I don't like doing shit like that. I don't like attention on me. We need a law that prevents simps going overseas and ruining everything. Well, I don't know. Ask Donald Trump if he can pass something out. We need to get simps off. Of, do y'all believe that simps need to be off the course of heading overseas? Should lawmakers pass a law that all simps must not cross the border? What if we just have like a uh, a whole city just get dedicated to simps? It'll be Simp City. <laughs> Simp Angeles. <laughs> New Simp City. New Nebraska Simp. Uh, North Carol Simp. South Carol Simp. We need to just have like a whole new country and states for simps. Sipville. Floridus. No, Flora Simp. Flora Simp. Florence Simp. Florence Simp. I'm trying to think of a word. But Texas. How are we going to say Texas? Simpsus. There we go. Simpsus. Okay. Seattle. Okay. Simp Ha <laughs> Oh shit! What's another one? Boston. Oh man, that's a hard one. That's a hard one. Massasimpius, because <laughs> it's Massachusetts. Massasimpius. There we go. We got it all lined up, man. But listen, man. Really and truly, we gotta stop with this shit, man. This is just crazy. There's no way in hell this woman should be having about twenty thousand iPhones. No, this is totally unconstitutional. We shouldn't be sending out 20 iPhones. Therefore, I will put in an executive order to stop iPhones from traveling overseas. No more iPhones overseas, bitches. Niggas gonna be sending yachts. <laughs> First class plane tickets. Caesar's Palace, game night tickets. When we get back into Normalville, and once the pandemic is over, you gonna see dudes out here buying basketball season tickets for chicks overseas, sipping, sipping on them scissors. Ever tried to use these pringles? She's good. This shit is crazy. Shorty gassed up 20 heads. She gassed up 20 heads. She did a whole hustle. This dude's out here doing hustles on chat lines. And getting females, getting dudes to um subscribe to their channel and do all kinds of crazy shit. Enjoying the show from Santiago. Oh, 
Who's that? Shout out to my Dominicanos in Santiago. Shoot. I didn't know I had any fans out there. Pringles are awesome. Thank you. I think they're awesome too. Santiago Chili? I don't know. But listen. Y'all gotta be more aware of your surroundings, man. You can't just be doing random shit like that. Have I sent before and sent something to a girl? Yeah, one time. Like a dumbass. Well, actually, no. I paid her phone bill. <laughs> I'm not a fucking kid, bro. This bitch had me so caught up in the fucking game, bro. I was in the game like this, right? I went in the game with no bulletproof vest and nothing. Nothing to protect my black ass. I walked right in that bitch thinking I was going to survive. She said, Poppy, I want to tell you something. I love you. I love you. But I need $100. <laughs> I got to pay my phone bill and I can't be able to talk to you anymore. I was like, oh, shit. Damn. And me being a dumbass, I'm like, okay, let me pay your phone bill. Paid her ass a phone bill, and guess what? She disappeared. Poof, be gone. And there, I said, I'll make sure I'll never fall victim again to that shit. Never. One time, you fooled me once, shame on me. Well, shame on you. You, sh you fooled me twice, shame on me. You fooled me three times, might as well end it all. <laughs> Love your money is what she's saying. Let me tell you something, man. This right here. Okay. This right here is pieces of paper. Okay. That's what money is. But. It can bring so much respect to you. But it can also bring disrespect. Just because you have money, that doesn't mean women are going to respect you. That doesn't mean they're going to do everything they that you want them to do either. Because women found ways of using men without them even having to do things to you to get what they want out of you. And that's psychologically using manipulation into you feeling sorry for her. She plays a role, which is very narcissistic, but is a way of grabbing your attention. So when she does get your attention, she gets your money. And when she has your money, you know, is a rap. Shout out to the hater, man. I got a hater in the building. I want somebody to disagree with me, man. I like that shit. I can disagree with me all you want. Now, I tell you this you will never catch my. <laughs> you will never catch my ass sending no chick $1,000, though. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 my bad, my bad, Not, I mean, you'll never catch my black ass sending no chick, no iPhone. That's what I'm about to say. You'll 
you'll never catch my ass buying no chick, no iPhone, and sending it overseas. See, I don't understand. Those, <clears throat> you got to really, really, really understand certain things that you do. Okay? You only get back what you, you only receive, I should say, you only give what you should receive, I should say. Like, you give her an inch, don't give her a yard. Or she gives you a foot, give her an inch. Don't go too overboard with it. You don't want people to know that you got a lot of money. You want to stay a little low-key with the shit. Just being honest. You got to be low-key. The moment you start flashing and then you start buying her certain things, then she's going to think that, okay, she doesn't know how much money she has. you have in your bank account, but she's starting to test the limits and start to ask for more bigger things that cost more money just to see if you would tell her no. So if you don't say no, if these dudes can afford to buy her the iPhone, which costs about what, almost $1,000 or so for the new iPhone, just about that, then these are some high-end dudes. They got money. Well, people out here simping. But anyways, that's all I got to say, man. Those of y'all who are new to the show, hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. As always, I'm your host, Andrew26101 Show. Don't forget to Leave your comments. Pass the videos around. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I know I had a video in between this show and another video. And it was kind of weird. I only did it one time because he's a fan of mine. He's been a fan of mine for the longest time. So I went ahead and said, all right, let me just go ahead and do the video. Eh, didn't really gel too well with what I was talking about. A little bit graphical. Try not to really show those type of things on this channel. I'm trying to do little things different, but I, I get the whole concept of it. Um, we live in a slavery mindset mentality, man. And as people, we need to wake up, man. Rather, it doesn't matter what race we are, where we come from, ethnicity, ethnicities, or whatever, you know. I just like to just bring out some sort of truth and honesty and what goes on between relationships, especially what men go through. So... If there's women that's on here that doesn't get the dialogue and what I'm talking about and thinking that I'm out here to try to attack them, you need to really think really deep into the words that I'm saying instead of going off of your emotions or off the title of the video. I'm actually speaking on a lot of logic, wisdom, and also educational skills when it comes down to dealing with men. You can actually learn a lot from my channels, ladies. Believe it or not, if you put your mind to it. Anyways, guys, I'm your host, Andrew 26101 Show. Thank you all for joining the show, and I'll see you guys in the next one, man. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all be safe out there. You know what I mean? Don't do anything I would do. Anyways, I'm out.